Hey guys, this is Brett here from Store Envy, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial telling you all how to set up and add and delete items from your store. Um, the first thing we're going to do is once we've logged into the home page here, we're going to come on over and click the store admin button right there in the middle of the page. And once that opens up, you're going to see normally on your store how many visitors and sales you've had, as well as all of the other data pertaining to your store. This is only a demo store that we've set up for these tutorial sessions, so we don't actually have any visitors or sales, but normally those numbers and statistics would be displayed here. To add or delete products to your store, you're going to want to come up here to this top little tab area and click Products. And as you can see, I've already added two products, my first shirt and my first hoodie, and those are priced over here. You can see those prices displayed, and they are active. And today we're going to add tank tops just as an example. So we're going to click Add Product, and a little drop-down menu will come up, and we'll just name this my first tank top. And we can set the price for $10, just as an example. We'll hit Submit. And after that submits, you'll get a green little box up here across the top that lets you know that the product was successfully created and instructing us to come on down and fill out the rest of the product details. Now, all this is just optional. You can, you can fill any of this in depending on how you know specific you want to be. A lot of times in the description, people will uh, put what type of shirt or product it is and any information about the print or anything like that as well as the shipping notes and the tags. Um, you can put all that in there, but remember to save your changes after you make any additions to this section. Um, beneath that, one of the most important things is you need to add an image. And we just have a sample image right here that we're going to show you guys. And you can add as many images as you want, uh, up to a 3 megabyte max. And as you can see, that image is right there. You can kind of zoom in on that and that's the image that will be displayed on your store. And then down here one of the most important things that we need to remember to add is variants. And these are essentially just your sizing levels. So if you hit new variant there you can just hit small for instance. And if you have an SKU which is a stock keeping unit um, you can input that there but again it's not a necessary component to, to have your inventory show up accurately on the store. And just an example let's just say we have 10 out of 10 small shirts there. And we'll hit Save Changes, and that will be uh, displayed right there for us to see. Uh, the default is included with every new product, just as a reminder mainly to add your variants. Um, and you can just simply come over here and delete that by clicking that little trash can, and it'll ask you if you want to do that. And we'll say yes. And then you can add as many variants as you want. So say we do mediums and we can just add a couple and see you know how that'll work out. And there you go, you can add that. And the cool thing about variants is you can it will show you in your little stock bar how much stock you have. So say you only have eight out of ten, you can see here that it'll just say eighty percent. And if you only have zero out of ten for an item it will show red that you have zero in stock and when you return to your products list a little zero will show up over here alerting you that some of your variants are out of stock now one thing I forgot to mention actually is it's very important after you add an item to make it active over here on the left hand panel if your product is not active, even if your store is live, it won't show up on your storefront. But you see, as I've made it active, we can now go to the store. And my first shirt, my first hoodie, and my first tank top will all be displayed. So there you have it. There is an extremely easy way to add a product. And now, real quick, just for everyone out there that wants to know, we I will show you how to delete a product. The easiest way is to go back into this product details page, 
And at the top of the page right there, there will be the return to products and then a delete button. And if you want to delete it, you will simply hit OK, delete, and then OK. And after a second, it will delete, and you'll get this green bar that will tell you the product has been deleted. So there you go. That should be everything you need to know to add and delete products from your storefront.